So we have this shield here. This is right behind the rotor and it's rattling. And this piece here is actually hitting the rotor. So to keep it from doing that, what we're gonna try to do is just take some zip ties and zip it, tie it to the knuckle because the knuckle moves along with this piece. So we don't have any zip ties that are long enough, but we can band together some of them. So if I take two zip ties, put them together, just a little bit, now I have an even longer zip tie. But instead of just buying a whole new shroud here, we're just gonna give this a try almost as a temporary fix. So now we're gonna pull these zip ties as tight as we can. So we'll try pulling these just as tight as we can. I got a few more clicks there with these pliers and you can see this pulled it away and this is no longer touching the rotor. So now whenever I try to rattle it, you can see it's not touching the rotor and it's not rattling and that's what we wanted to see. So now we can go ahead and clip these zip ties, the ends of them off, and we'll have to start looking into getting a new shroud here. So that's how you fix the uh, rotor dust plate here, and it sure works a lot better without any rattle. Rattles can be really hard to find. So we found a technique that is very simple, it requires very simple tools, and we found our rattle within about five minutes. What you wanna do is jack the car up. We have it on jack stands here. So the suspension is full. And then what we're gonna do is basically we're emulating bumps on the road. So if we pound this wheel, I don't hear anything. So just hit different places on the tires. You can use a small sludge hammer, just anything that can get force. So now we'll hit here on the driver's side. And I think I hear that rattle. So with somebody hitting the wheel, I'm just gonna put my hands on different things until I hear the rattling stop. That means we found the object and it's not vibrating anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the wheel and see if we can hear what's rattling. Feeling around. Okay, so I think I found it right here. So this is the, looks like the shield that's right behind the rotor. And that's what's rattling. So using this method works just great, except finding the thing is actually like half the problem. It's, it can just be such a pain to find where that rattling is coming from. But once you find it, and in our case, it actually wasn't too big of a deal. It's just that little shroud that we need to fix. But this method works great every time. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.